Hey everybody, in this video, I'm showing you how to transfer your AT&T physical SIM on your old iPhone to eSIM on your new iPhone 14 or iPhone 14 Pro. Now, one thing to note is there is a software update available for your new iPhone 14 or 14 Pro that actually helps reduce issues that can occur during the physical SIM to eSIM migration process. So the method I recommend you do is you go ahead and set your phone up as normal and you restore it from your previous device. So when you put the phones next to each other, you should see this pop up to set up your new iPhone, tap continue, the phones are going to wirelessly connect and pretty soon here, you should see a 3D dot pattern. Go ahead and scan that and this is gonna link your devices together. Once that's done, you're gonna be able to set up the new iPhone either for yourself or for a child. I recommend you set it up for yourself. Enter the passcode of your old phone on your new one. And when you get to the setup eSIM screen, you have two options. You can transfer from your other iPhone or you can set up later in settings. Now, originally I would have recommended you transfer from your other iPhone immediately because it's the most convenient and your phone number will be transferred when you set up your new phone. But because there are some issues with the current software on your new device, I recommend you set up later in settings and skip this step, download that new software update, which is gonna help fix any issues you could encounter and then do the transfer. So I'm gonna finish setting this iPhone up, then show you how to download that new software update and then how to transfer your phone number over. When your iPhone is set up, dive into settings, go to general, go to software update, and download and install the iOS 16.0.1 software update. I've already gone ahead and done that, and once yours is done, go back to settings, go to cellular, and to transfer your AT&T number from the physical SIM to eSIM on your new phone, simply tap set up cellular, and you'll be presented with a list of phone numbers to transfer. Or <laughs> maybe that's just me because I have a bunch of phone numbers, um, but find the one you want to transfer. In this case, it's this physical SIM icon, this number right here, that's my AT&T number, and then tap continue. You'll get a pop-up making sure you wanna transfer that specific phone number, and if it looks good, tap transfer number. You're gonna to have to confirm the transfer on your old phone. You'll get a pop-up and tap transfer SIM. And after a couple seconds, you can see cellular setup is complete. Your AT&T phone number is now active on this iPhone and tap done. And there you go. You can see in the top, it says AT&T. Your old phone will no longer have the SIM card, so it'll say SOS only. And you have successfully transferred your AT&T phone number from your physical SIM to the new eSIM on your new phone. Okay, but what if you wanna transfer from your new phone to maybe a different phone or swap your SIM card to a new phone in the future? How do you do that? Well, it's pretty similar. All you're gonna do is on the phone you want to transfer the eSIM to, just go to settings, go to cellular, and tap add eSIM. You'll get a pop-up with all the numbers that are available to transfer. Find the one you wanna transfer, that's my AT&T number. Tap continue, tap transfer number. And again, you'll be prompted to transfer the SIM. And just like that, the phone you're transferring to will say it's activating, and in a couple seconds here, it should be activated. And there you go, cellular setup complete. Your AT&T number is transferred to a different phone. And that's it. That's how you transfer your AT&T number from physical SIM to eSIM, and from eSIM to eSIM between iPhones. Click the like button if you found this video helpful, and get subscribed to save money on your cell phone bill. My name is Stetson, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.